The Federal Road Safety Corps has tasked road transport unions to ensure that they comply with COVID-19 prevention guidelines as the bans on interstate travel is lifted. The FRC Corps Marshal Boboyu Oyeyemi gave the charge to transport stakeholders in Abuja during an interaction with the unions. He said the essence of the guidelines is to help reduce the spread of COVID-19 and to save the lives of Nigerians. For major FW to NATO, RKN, Lupin, PTD, Akomoron, and Pitona, and others must brace up with the present reality and ensure strict compliance with the following. The protection of terminals and luggage of passengers, minimizing contact with paper money and adopting electronic ticketing system, free hand sanitizing and hand wash removed, checking the temperature of potential passengers, disabling their conditioning system in vehicles and ensuring windows are open, compulsory use of face masks by passengers and drivers, and avoiding overloading and observing physical distancing. The implication of these guidelines is that the capacity of passengers to be conveyed by commercial buses is now reduced to 50%, whilst Alunka will carry only one passenger in front and two passengers at the back. More so, wagons are to carry only one passenger in the front seat, Two in the middle and two at the back. From NURTW to NATO, RKN, Lupin, PTD. Uh, so on this, we now have BC Kazim, who is the core public education officer for Federal Road Safety Corps. Good to have you, uh, Mr. BC Kazim. Do we have Kazim on the line? I'm well. All right. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Now, let's go Thank straight. Thank you for having me too. Right. Let's go straight into the matter. Since the lifting of the lockdown, have road motorists been complying with the rules from what you have observed so far? Yes. A report from all our commands indicates that the uh, majority of uh, the motoring public are complying. Uh, we still have some dissidents. We have some people that are not complying. You know, every, for every law or regulation, people want to test the ability of uh, enforcing officers, I mean, uh, enforcement officers to see whether they can enforce the law or it's just lip service. But for, by and large, I want to say that uh, we're on top of it. Mm -hmm. If you are on top of it, uh, what's the sanction or what's, uh, what do you do to defaulters? As you have mentioned, of course, there are those who have not been complying. Well, we are using four approach system that is uh, peculiar to FRC. We're using participation, we're using uh, education, we're using soft to force, and then we're equally using enforcement. Enforcement may entail you paying fines, and it may mean that you could be prosecuted in the mobile court. So all this we are combining. You know, we want it to be an ethical thing. We, want, we don't want it to be as if you are afraid of uh, law enforcement agencies, but you know that it is the right thing for you to do, and you are doing that, mm -hmm. and that will, will be satisfied with that. I mean, we cannot overemphasize the need to enlighten the people, you know, even these road transport uh, motorists and those who use uh, the road for several reasons. So what sort of enlightenment programs uh, would you say the FRSC have embarked on so far to enlighten yes. the people and the public? Yes, yeah, the first thing we did was to call, to have uh, the commercial had a virtual meeting with uh, their leadership. Uh, yesterday, NOPE PTD, NATO, LURTWU, Retain, and Pitona joined us, some physically and some on virtual or through Zoom. And uh, the, we all agreed on the resolution. The next thing is to start to print uh, ambits and posters and uh, equally jingles. And then we, we equally ask all our public enlightenment officers nationwide to start to go to motor parks and start to make sure that they enlighten the drivers and the passengers alike. So that at the end of the day, nobody will say he has not been told. Right. Mr. Kazim, you would agree with me that the obvious reason why the motors, the vehicles are on the road is because they have passengers. 
Now, what sort of education and enlightenment, what message are you putting across for these passengers who, you know, are the reasons why we have these vehicles on the road to keep the safety measures? Yes, uh, we have always been saying that uh, passengers should not be passive. They should be active. They have every right to stop any driver before they are killed. Uh, uh, drivers do, do not die as passengers in any crash, as much as passengers. Mm. So in that wise, we are saying that do not allow yourself to be carried as overloaded passengers. Do not allow yourself to be dropped on the road because if we see you on the road without wearing mask, you'll be dropped. As soon as we drop you, they will book the driver for it's going to be precarious liability, which means why did you carry somebody that is not wearing mask? As uh, I mean, contrary to the resolution that we have with you with the union, so the motor republic is going to be lighting through rallies too, because we are talking to drivers in the motor park. We equally be talking to the passengers alike, and at the same time. The emphasis on jingles and uh, 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 posters and ambulance is equally dear to passengers, not only to drivers. Mm -hmm. And let's talk, talk about your own people. Let's talk about your men who are constantly on the road, who are ensuring that this compliance, you know, uh, people adhere to it. How do you, what have you put in place also to ensure their safety, that while they are trying to save others, they are not endangering themselves? You recall that uh, uh, FRSC happened to be the first organization to mass produce masks for our men, and that are been in use, and we are still supplying more and more. And at the same time, sanitizers are being supplied in large quantity to our, our different commands, as we have been, as we are exhausting some, we are equally getting some. And uh, we, are, we have equally enlightened them on the need to save themselves while trying to save others. So because it is not right for you to get uh, yourself in trouble, while trying to save somebody that is uh, uh, that is bound to be saved, mm. so the enlightenment is a continuous thing. We are making sure that in our in-house trading, that is uh, on all Wednesdays, all we talk about is safety of our men mm. and how to save others on the road. So they they are well uh, catered for. All right, before I let you go, uh, Mr. Kazim, th th there are concerns that, you know, because of the nature of things now, more uh, drivers are forced to maybe ply the road just once. Uh, they have increased the, the prices also, you know, the fare for travelers. And they, there's also some level of recklessness in driving. What have you observed since? Yes, we have seen that uh, some of them have started increasing their fares. And uh, what we can do is just to persuade them. We cannot force them. We're talking with the leadership to see how they can reasonably probably increase the fear, not uh, just jumping uh, the skyrocket for it, just like that. But what, again, we have observed is that more of them are making just speeding in order to make more trips, mm -hmm. in order to cover up. And that is why we are deploying more of our radar guns and we are focusing on speed violation. And we equally want to start to arrest them for lack of uh, use of speed limiting device. So that at the end of the day, what we want to gain here will not lose in other form. Right. Thank you so very much, BC Kazim, for your thoughts and contributions. Do keep safe out there, sir. You're welcome.